Here's the thing, you make music, whether you're a singer, songwriter, a rapper, a producer, a musician of any sort, in order to do this for a long time, I think you would agree that you need to make money from it. You need to build an audience from it. What does that look like? Well, you want to sell merch, right? You want to be able to sell out shows, get that streaming revenue up, get that attention, the following, the fans. So the question is, do you want to become somebody who's important or do you want to just pretend to yourself that you're important? What's going on guys? Adam Ivy, sellmusic.com here to help you go further, faster in your music career by sharing proven marketing techniques and strategies to help transform that passion for making music and turn it into a legitimate business that's going to provide you with freedom and fulfillment, two of the most important things in life in general. Now, what am I talking about in the intro? You probably guessed it, but I'm talking about bots. That's right, something that I've kind of held my tongue on when it comes to YouTube for a while, uh, and there's for, for various reasons. I'll get to that a little bit later. Bots are poison. So what we say here internally, and it's something that, you know, we see time and time again. I'm sure that you've gotten DMs, uh, 30 bucks will get you 10,000 streams on Spotify, 150 bucks will get you some subscribers or whatever it looks like, right? A bunch of these PR companies, these promo companies. Uh, and honestly, guys, I could talk about this till I'm blue in the face. I rant about it for a couple hours. I could talk about things like, you know, bots don't buy tickets. I could talk about how bots don't buy merch. And don't even get me started on the fact that bots don't give you feedback. And if you think bots are going to share your music, you got another thing coming. And you know how I'm always talking about analytics? Yeah, they kind of become useless when half of it is robot stats. If you think your reach and engagement's bad now, whew, buddy. Just wait until those platforms see you using bots. Oh yeah, bots will get your account deleted. Here's the thing, guys. I hope that you can use some of those examples and some common sense into understanding why trying to cut in line, trying to supersede the work that other people are putting in right now to try to look like you're further along, try to convince yourself, friends, others, strangers, that you're more important than you actually are is doing you a huge disservice. Just think about paying for a thousand cardboard cutouts at a show. So when you come out on stage, it looks like the place is packed. And then pretty quickly, you can realize that they're just fake. They're cardboard cutouts. People don't actually care. So you're investing in a bunch of nothing. And you're not fooling anyone. This is in 2015 or 16 where you could fool a label into thinking you were incredibly popular to get a record deal because you have all these numbers when their analytics go so much further than you think. They could see what day you promoted, what playlist that you're getting on that's fake, all these different things. And don't even get me started when it comes to social media, YouTube, these sort of things. We want to do it the right way. We want to put in the work. We don't want to invest all this money into nothing and then be super upset that we're not getting paid enough on Spotify, for example. Let's do things the right way. One thing that I cannot emphasize enough for you guys is when you're building an audience, when you're building a fan base, you're taking strangers and turning them into followers and fans. Once you break their trust, once they see something kind of fishy, that doesn't make sense. This guy has 150,000 followers and he's only getting 86 likes on his posts. That doesn't make sense. This guy only averages 500 streams per song released. Now, all of a sudden, this one has 95,000. Hmm. Fishy. Once you stop feeding your ego, with the easy path, the easy route. Once you stop listening to people who've built their entire following with bots, telling you to use bots and start thinking for yourself, you could see the path. You could see that you have to build the brand. You have to market. You have to be able to understand targeting and all the other aspects of marketing, which at times are not fun. But the part of it that's going to be very rewarding to you is when you put your boots on and you put in the work and you build an actual audience that cares about you. I've never had a bot ask me how I'm doing. I've never had a bot get emotional and tell me how I've impacted their life. That's what we're going for here. Now, if you want help marketing, if you want help branding, watch this video next. If you haven't yet, I'd love for you to join the channel family here by clicking that subscribe button, then smashing that bell icon and a thumbs up for the algorithm. Come connect with me over on Instagram. I appreciate your time today. Don't use bots and I'll see you next time.